Greetings, everyone. Let us look into some of the questions that are generally asked by people. Uh, in this video, we are responding to seven questions. In the last two, we responded to ten questions each. <clears throat> the first question is, what is needed if I want to get married to a South African citizen? The answer is you need to apply for a non-merit certificate from your country of origin. Once you have the certificate, non-merit certificate, you take it to your consulate for them to write a cover letter. Then you can uh, apply to the Department of Home Affairs for your marriage. And uh, make sure you are inviting me for drinks. <coughs> then in question two, I was declared an undesirable person for five years. Now that my five years is over, what must I do? You need to approach the Department of Home Affairs. They, they need to write you a letter. Or the immigration in the Department of Home Affairs, they need to write you a letter. And they clear you in the system. Because if you do not approach them, they will not clear you in the system. Uh, 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 it will take time for your name to be removed. After five years, you then apply for a new passport. You want to travel. When you get to the border, you are told that you are declared undesirable, even though your five years is over. What uh, we have noted is that uh, sometimes when you get to the border, you are told to go to the South African Embassy in Harare. When you get to the South African Embassy in Harare, you do not get to see any official. You are just turned at the gate by a security officer who gives you a form to complete. And uh, <clears throat> in fact, they give you an email where to send your documents and phone number, and that email is not responded to. So that is the difficulty that uh, a person who has been declared undesirable faces in terms of trying to clear the ban. Uh, question number three. On YouTube, Comrade Mabena, you said domestic workers who have worked for five years can apply for payments. How do we apply? The answer is this is a campaign to get government to agree to grant special payments to domestic workers, as explained in the video. We think there was a misunderstanding. Some people thought that uh, we said if you're a domestic worker, you have worked for five years, you can apply for a permit. There was a misunderstanding. And uh, what we are saying in our response is that the government can agree or disagree with our proposal. In short, there is no agreement for domestic workers who are not documented to apply for any permit. This is simple a campaign, is to try to get government to agree. So if you are not documented, you have worked as a domestic worker for more than five years, you cannot apply for a general working visa. Uh, question number four, who qualifies for an, uh, for a, an ASLAM? Uh, we have dealt with quest this question before. Here we give a brief answer that an ASLAM is applied by a person who is running away from persecution from their country of origin. But if you check the video in this uh, YouTube channel that we did, we, we dealt with this question in depth, but of course, uh, other people seem not to have understood. Question number five. I'm a ZTP holder. My passport will expire in 12 months. Should I apply for a permit? <clears throat> our advice, that is our answer. Our advice is that uh, you apply for a new passport uh, uh, so that you will not have to apply for a change of permit to a new passport once your permit is out. Remember, in the system, your permit is listed in the number of the passport that you use, the number of the passport you use to apply for a permit is the one that is listed in the system. So when your passport expires, you now have uh, uh, to get, once you have renewed, you now have to apply to get the Department of Home Affairs to transfer the permit from the old passport to the new passport, meaning they now have to, get, to, to capture the new passport number in their system. 
in between that you will be required to carry two passports and uh, many people when they carry two passports when they get to the port of entry they are then given days on a new passport so our advice is that if your passport will expire in 12 months time get a new passport so that you are not going to go through these challenges question number six i'm a holder of a permanent residence my child is born in south africa can i apply for a south african birth certificate uh, in a number of videos in this platform we have also dealt with this question but again some people might have missed uh, these videos but what what we have said uh, in, t in terms of our answer <clears throat> which we have said in these videos before in some of these videos before is that at birth your child assumes your citizenship so a child born assumes the citizenship of their parents until they are major uh, or until they are 18 some they will say 17 18 so it's safe to say until they are major uh, meanwhile at birth you need to apply for your child's birth certificate from your consulate that is from your consulate of a country of origin the birth certificate will indicate that uh, the child is born in south africa it is only when they are major that uh, they then apply for a citizenship in the population registry it will be clear that uh, they are born of uh, someone who is a migrant then question number seven in 1996, I was issued with a Mandela ID. My old ID is active in the system, meaning I have two IDs. There are quite a number of people that are facing this challenge to an extent that they cannot access uh, uh, their funds in the bank. The answer is you need to go to Home Affairs where you applied for the Mandela ID and ask them to block the old ID. So it's important because we are granted an amnesty 95 96 you need to go back to the department of home affairs um, where you applied uh, they have to block the old id so that um, only the mandela id remains active we will continue to answer your questions please write your questions in the comment section uh, like this video subscribe to this youtube channel if you are on tiktok please do follow us otherwise goodbye